Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, welcome. I'm Jasmine and I got an apartment in a pandemic. Crazy, right? <laughs> If you're still watching yes welcome this video today is really just getting into just some of the context behind me getting my first apartment on my own um, I am 28 years old and I just finally um, took the leap to move out on my own and honestly it's been such an interesting experience when I was in college um, senior year of college I moved out with a roommate so we lived together in an apartment that was less than desirable um, in an area of town that I really loved. I just hated the apartment. And then once I graduated from college, I had a ton of student loan debt and like fear and just wasn't good with money and just a lot of different things going for me. So I ended up moving home, um, worked the, the whole time, but it really just took me a little while to really figure out what I wanted to do and get settled in a position that I love and those types of things. And so um, what's crazy though, is I think that even looking at 2020, right? Like so many people are just like, throw 2020 away, it's a waste, like what a waste of a year, all that plans I can everything got run. And even though 2020 has been a challenging year for all of us, even though so many lives have been lost, even though there's such, there's so much exposure that's taken place and so many things that have really developed as the year has progressed, I just feel like God has still been faithful, God has still moved, and God has still shown himself to be exactly who he's always been and always will be. And for me, I think what was so crazy is, again, of all the times for me to get an apartment, it would be in a, in a, like, in a pandemic. That totally is just one brand for me. And it really just speaks again to, his, to God's faithfulness and not mine because I actually was planning on moving out um, I had actually talked about moving out at the beginning of 2020 like okay you're 28 it's time to kind of you know plant roots and everything and even my um just like different friends and stuff would always talk about like okay jasmine you need to move out go out on your own those types of things um obviously do it within your own time but i don't think you're giving yourself enough credit and i think i really freaked myself out to say like wow well like i would look at the, my one friend who you know has a house and bought her first house and is a homeowner i would look at my other friend who um you know has had multiple houses and just other people around me that i felt like there's no way that i can afford an apartment let alone a nice apartment let alone anything of the sort and so i might as well just stay home it's comfortable my mom and i get along um and you know things were just happening at home so i felt like well i'll just stay home until i get married which didn't happen, but it's, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, and so just really getting into just this like concept of like, okay, so I was gonna, I was talking about moving out at the beginning of the year. And then in March, I actually found out that I have um, uterine fibroids, which if you haven't seen the video, Great. Um, found out I had uterine fibroids, which really put a wrench in my plans as far as moving out and what that looked like. Um, I currently am in a job that I absolutely love, and it took me a while to even get here. Um, every step that was um, before this was necessary, and I'm grateful for every um, opportunity and just everything that really helped me to get to where I am now. And I know that this again is just, you know, again, just continue forward progression. So being in the job that I love, but then finding out about fibroids, I'm like, oh, well, I'll just wait. So at the time I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna be on it for three months and then I'm gonna, um, then I'll move out. So then it was looking at like May, June. Oh yeah, I'll move out. Well then, you know, ran into some challenges again, video. Right? And where I get into a little bit more of that and the details behind that, but it just kept getting pushed back, back, back and back. And so finally, I was challenged by someone because in my mind, I'm thinking, why would I move out on my own? I have these uterine fibroids. If I have to have surgery, I'm gonna be back in my mom's anyways. What the heck, what a waste. And really what it was, it was just a fearful, just I'm afraid that I'm gonna end up on my own and have surgery. Like it was just more so I'm gonna get out there on my own and I'm never, I'm not gonna be able to figure it out because I was comfortable being at home. 
with my mom. And I mean, again, we loved each other. We got along, we, you know, split bills and stuff like that. Like I would, you know, buy groceries and stuff and, um, you know, help out around the house and those types of things. But it just was so very comfortable and she was like my fallback plan. And it really, and again, student loan debt. I mean, I went to a private Jesuit university and we took out student loans for everything. I mean, it wasn't, you know, I had a scholarship, but for the most part, it was loans from um, a private lender, which is another conversation for a later day. So in my mind, I'm thinking, I can't afford to move out and just so many things. And so it was easy to just settle in. So I was actually challenged by a friend where um, I was believing and still am believing that I won't have to have any type of surgery regarding my fibroids, but instead that they will dissolve on this medicine that I'm taking. And so she said to me, it, it, she said, if you are believing that you're not going to need surgery, why are you staying home in the event that you will have to have surgery? Which, my chest, <laughs> like my whole chest, oh my gosh, like what? Ah, like what a gut punch, what a, you know, and it really just resonated with me. And I, and I know that God was really dealing with me as far as trusting him and faith and what that looks like and really acting it out and making it actionable. Right. And what does, um, leaning into him and his promises really look like? So I started looking around and, um, really just kind of was just like, Oh, I'll just start looking. And that process was finding an apartment, finding a home, moving, transition is, I don't know how people move every year, every couple of years voluntarily. I'm going to be here. It's gonna be a husband that's gonna move me up out of here. Amen. It's gonna be a husband, fiance is gonna move me up out of here because we settle. We're gonna settle in, we're gonna unpack all of that and that's what it's gonna be. Okay. But I think for just this, Oh, the art of finding an apartment and I'm like a strategic I'm like a planner I am a I am a strategizer I am a let me overthink and really flip a rock 10,000 different directions and really get all angles understand all perspectives which can be uh, a struggle in the faith right we're supposed to trust God and let God do his thing and wanting to know all the details doesn't always happen um, <laughs> from the Christian perspective God will say this is what it is and I'll be like right but what about everything leading up to and he like nah 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 this is what I have said that's it. And it's really, it was really a challenging process. So I drove myself nuts. I drove my friends nuts. Do I want this, this component? Do I want this component? I want amenities. I want utilities. And what's crazy is that I wanted, and I honestly had forgotten really that I wanted an apartment in um, the area of town that I live in now. So the area of town I live in now actually is the number one area that I wanted to live in. Crazy. In my mind, I'm like, oh, we'll just do like number two or number three. Number one is, you know, pricey. It's out of my price range. And that's okay. We can just live in the vicinity or maybe I'll have a shoebox apartment and that'll be that. I had forgotten that I wanted to live in a, in a house that had been converted into multiple units. And um, that was in the part of town I'm living in right now. I had completely forgotten about it. So I'm just looking at apartments. I'm subscribed to all of these apartment apps and getting all these notifications. The first apartment that I wanted to see um, leased out the day I was going to see it and I'd fallen in love with it. I'd driven by it, everything. So I was crushed, which I know it's, it comes with the life, but I just still was like, I guess in my mind I'm thinking, okay, it took me years to finally get to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna move out. So then my, in my mind I'm like, okay, God, so like obviously the first place I fall in love with is it, right? Negative. Negative. But, so that was challenging. I mean, but again, working through other life issues were so dependent. I mean, there's just so many things going, right? So many things happening. And so, Fast forward, I uh, went to see a couple other places, drove by a couple other places, and it just wasn't really clicking. I've got people saying, Jasmine, trust the process. You have to just let it happen. You'll find your place, just relax. Now again, I was like wound up and um, trusting and not like, it's just all over the place. So the day that I actually found this apartment, it turned around in 24 hours. So I got an email about this place, which is on the third floor walk up. I didn't want to be on the ground. I wanted as many amenities included as possible. Um, wanted to have good neighbors for it to be in a safe location, but the part of town I wanted to live in and currently live in now is extremely safe. And I knew that I um, wanted, wanted to be spacious. Um, I wanted a balcony so I could just have like, you know, just that ambiance of just sitting outside and watching the rain. I love all of that. 
I love all of that. And it was truly just something that was just something I, you know, I really wanted. And so, get to this place, they're saying all amenities are included, laundry's included, Wi-Fi, there's a carport, so I'm to clean off my car, and this is the price range, and I'm like, okay. And I had been going back and forth about my budget, because I'm like, okay, I've never priced out an apartment before, what, what makes sense as far as utilities, I'll do this much, depending on how many utilities are included, so really just trying to brainstorm and process. And so I get here, I come and I meet um, one of the landlords, um, it's a couple, they live actually on the first floor and then the second and third floor are leased out. And she just kept saying like, we just really want good neighbors, we really just want, you know, someone that's gonna take care of the place and that's gonna be just, you know, just really have a community. And I just love that, I fell in love with that. I felt, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Again, the, the apartment is beautiful, which I'll do a tour when I get unpacked, cause child, I ain't unpacked it. Also unpacking, a place by yourself it really amidst not taking off any I didn't take any days off of work in the future we'll take days off I'm hard-headed I tend to learn things the hard way but I didn't take any days off and so it was really just nice and comforting I wanted the appliances to be updated I wanted the bathroom to be nice it was something just about a nice bathroom bathroom gorgeous if you've seen my apartment hunting video I've given you three options already. You're welcome. Yeah, and in my apartment hunting video, I fell madly in love with the bathroom here. It was so gorgeous. Um, and it really just all came together within 24 hours. Now, I will say that I definitely did not consider, so I had a lot of things going on when I ended up moving. So I was able to move in on the first of this month and um or get the keys to start dropping things off on the first of the month and it was just very quick turnaround i'm grabbing furniture because again i lived at home so like i don't have an abundant we didn't have multiple couches at my house my mom had her sofa my mom had her kitchen table my mom had her stuff and again god's faithfulness just provided as far as even like this couch which the video is to come the diy couch that we made the phase one of that couch and people just coming through to buy me stuff and my you know family members springing for movers to help move me because again i live on a third floor walk up which essentially is five flights if you will and it's a very very tight stairwell so <laughs> very interesting my bed didn't fit my couch didn't fit which is exactly why we built the couch from the ground up I'm still in the process of securing a mattress um, which is in the works but it's just been a very very interesting progressive faith journey but ultimately just a showcasing of God's faithfulness in my life um, amidst just so many things that are going on and so again just seeing everything I think wishing I would have would have really maybe taken a step back. And I think again, I was kind of nervous. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, I love this place. It's gonna go. Like I had a little bit of PTSD. I'm using air quotes because it's relative. Uh, just from, you know, the first apartment that I wanted and at least out from under me. And so I was like rushing, let me hurry up and get this. I'm gonna miss out on it. And again, obviously being reminded of like, what's for me is for me. I do think if I would have waited, it still would have been for me. But again, we worked it out. I learned hard, so. We learned and we live and that's what it is, but it has been such an interesting process. Even the moments where I was stressed out about, oh my gosh, how am I gonna, where am I gonna get a bed from? I think I slept on the floor like a couple nights at first when I got here. And then um, people, you know, came together really to help me and to champion me as far as with getting the couch together and sleeping on the couch, which I'm good. Um, just different things that were given to me. And it's really, again, just a testament of God's faithfulness Again, I bought an apartment in a pandemic and bought is a, is a stretch, but I got an apartment in a pandemic. What, like of all the times, of all the places. And I'm really just thankful. I mean, it's been it's just so many emotions, so many things going on, but I'm just so truly grateful and thankful. And I'm excited for this new journey. I saw a family the other day and I hadn't seen them in a while. And they were just like, there's just something about you. There's something, you know, like you're just at peace. You're just in a good place. And I said, well, yeah, I think, just learning myself and really getting to this place of being by myself for however long um, before I, you know, get married and all of those things. 
Um, this is really a pivotal time in my life where I'll get to live by myself and really, and I had really started to develop habits of, uh, and routines at my mom's house. So I think it's more so just securing that and, and um, settling in, further settling into those routines. But it definitely has been such an amazing experience so far. I'm loving it. I'm loving the time working from home and just having like slow mornings, implementing slow mornings where I'm not getting up and rushing. Um, back in the gym, um, I have a friend who actually just got certified as a personal trainer, so she trains me because she loves me. And that's been interesting, which I'm sure I'll vlog it and you'll see in the coming, you know, videos. But it's all around just been awesome. And I'm gonna take you guys on this journey with me, obviously, um, I promised you I would. So as we're getting things unpacked and getting things moving, the couch video is coming. And you know, we're just making strides and making things happen. So I really hope that you were encouraged by my video. Hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. And as always, I'll see you next Friday. I love you guys. Bye-bye.